Hello there, Nalek is here. Today I'm going to solve the first exercise of 2017 session 2 chemistry. So aluminium, a common metal. Aluminium is a silvery white metal. It is the most abundant metal on Earth's crust. It has been widely used in industry in recent years replacing iron due to its low density and longer durability because unlike iron it resists corrosion in humid air. Document 1 shows a schematic representation of a neon atom, an E. Pick out from the text the reasons why in recent years aluminium has been used in industry instead of iron. So, you have to say that uh, aluminium has a low density, it has a longer durability, plus it, unlike iron, it resists corrosion. All right. Referring to document one, answer the following question. Calculate the mass number of the neon atom. The mass number is A, which is Z plus N. Z is equal to 10, because we have 10 protons regarding the document one, and 10 neutrons, so the total will be 20. This is for A. Write the Lewis electron dot symbol of this uh, atom. In order to do the Lewis representation, you need to electronic configuration, which is K2L8. So from here, we can deduce that NE has the Lewis representation, which is like this. It has eight electro valence electrons. Indicate the group or column and period of, uh, or row of the neon electron in the periodic table. So we have K2L8. L8, it means that it's group eight or column 18. As for row, it will be the second row because I'm using a couple of energy levels, it's K and L. In certain chemical reactions, each aluminium atom loses three electrons to become stable iron Al3+. Aluminium ion has the same electro configuration as that of the neon atom. Determine the, the relative charge of the electron cloud of the aluminium Al3+, <clears throat> knowing that the relative charge of an electron is 1 minus. So, Al3+, plus, it has an, the same configuration as neon. It means that it has the same number of electrons as neon. It has 10 electrons. So, in the, um, the electron cl cloud of the aluminium ion, it has 10 electrons. The relative charge will be 10 minus. Show that the number of electrons in the electron cloud of the aluminium atom is 13. So, we have... A, in the ion 10 electrons and the ion has already lost three electrons to become this ion so initially it will be it has three electrons uh, <clears throat> it has three more electrons than the ion so it will be 10 plus 3 13 electrons for the atom reduce the atomic number of the aluminium atom you have to say that since the atom is neutral the the number, the atomic number will be Z, which is equal to 13, of course, the number of electrons. Aluminium's corrosion resistance is due to the formation of a thin surface layer of aluminium oxide, Al2O3, that forms when the metal is exposed to humid air, which prevents effectively further oxidation. The equation of the reaction of formation Al2O3 is as follows. 4Al plus 3O2, it gives you 2Al2O3. Verify that the reaction of formation Al2O3 is an oxidation reduction reaction, knowing that the oxidation number of aluminium element in the compound is Al2O3, in Al2O3 is plus 3. So we have to get back to this reaction. We're going to write down the reaction again. We have 4Al plus 3O2 which gives us 2Al2O3. So, we have to check the number of oxidation for each part. Al is zero, it's a simple compound. O2 is zero again because it's uh, purely oxygen. Um, in Al2O3, <clears throat> we have to calculate. We know that Al is plus three, it was given. We have to calculate the oxygen. So you can say that 2 times plus 3 plus 3 times the number of oxidation of oxygen 
is equal to 0. So 6 plus 3x, let's say, is equal to 0. 3x is equal to minus 6. x is equal to minus 2. So number of oxidation of oxygen is minus 2 in the compound Al2O3. As you can see for Al, the number of oxidation is increasing from 0 to plus 3. So I have an oxidation. And as for oxygen, the number of oxidation is decreasing from 0 to minus 2. Number of oxidation is decreasing, so we have a reduction. Since I have an oxidation and reduction, it's a reduc red, uh, oxidation reduction reaction which is taking place in this case. That's all for this exercise. This was the exercise one of session 2017, the first session. Uh, I hope it was helpful, so I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified whenever I upload new materials, whenever I solve other sessions. I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account. You can contact me directly or you can simply leave a comment below. That's all for this time and see you later.